Hi, I'm Barmy, and this is the Pokemon Platinum Petlock. The Petlock is a Pokemon Nuzlocke with all of the normal Nuzlocke rules. You may only catch the first Pokemon you encounter each route. If a Pokemon gets knocked out, you must release it, and you must name every Pokemon you catch. But there's one bonus rule. Stream viewers sent me pictures and names of their pets in our Discord server, and every Pokemon is named after one of those pets, making it hurt so much more when one of them dies. Welcome to the Pokemon Platinum Petlock. Alright, I think... Time to go then, right? So we get to capture something here. Let's see what it is. Swinup. Honestly, not even that bad. It's just how do we actually capture it? Probably Pokeball? Like, here's the problem. It's just not that strong. But Pokeball isn't that strong either. Like, Pokeball mostly wins by being a wiener. <clears throat> Alright. Then we slam an Earthquake. But yeah, a Swinup is actually pretty okay. Like, Mammal Swine is crazy strong if you can get one. But I know it's kind of... No, Pokeball! Well, part of me is annoyed that we didn't get that, but part of me is also quite proud of Pokeball <laughs> for just getting that kill. <laughs> it's just like, first of all, Pokeball, how dare you? Secondly, kind of nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Alright, time to use Rock Climb. Let's go, Wiccan. Nice. We did it! Alright, hello! You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic! <laughs> well, we can't become the Pokemon Champion. Let's go back to Veilstone HQ. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time. Okay. Alright, thanks for telling me exactly where you want me to go. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to their HQ then. I think it was in Veilstone, right? Do you have any psychic Pokemon? I have a God of War in the box. But I'm not, not using it. I like my team. I think my team is pretty cool. Hey, it's you! As <laughs> you they took my Clefairy. Oh! You leave this to me. The storage key for entering the Team Galactic hideout. I have it right here. Uh, sure, let's get in there. <laughs> I, I guess we're... I guess... We're, I, I don't know. I feel kind of bad for... <laughs> for that guy losing his... His Pokemon. That's kind of stinky. Isn't it? Kept you waiting. I will use the storage key I've obtained from the Team Galactic. There we go. Okay, cool. Dusk Stone. Very good. Just in case that. Oh god, the music is just freaking out. Hello, Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon, all of nature. Okay. And then you will own it all. Yeah, that sure sounds free. <laughs> A trainer who lost their way. Ah. Cool that. Yeah, like you have a bunch of stuff like that. Like Coco will do fine here. Isn't that right, Coco? Yeah. She'll do just fine. Against Magnemites and such, we can just swap out.
Good. We should definitely take some time soon to just like buy a bunch of healing again. It's not that we're exactly running low. We have enough, but I just don't even want to run low, you know? I don't even want to get into that range. I want to make sure we always have plenty of healing. All right, Houndor. I mean, we could close combat it, but we only have five close combat PP. So I'm just going to try and just return it. Return will do the job against most things. I mean, it's also way stronger than close combat against neutral targets. Although that guy would have been weak to it. Hello. Desecrating the horse of our HQ. Aren't you guys like a corporation or something? <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure what Team Galactic is supposed to be. It doesn't feel like anybody really takes them seriously. Which I find very funny. That like all of the adults just look at them as like a bunch of idiots. Which is probably accurate. Alright. Up we go. Hey buddy. I'm imagining there's a mo master ball in here, so we gotta make sure to, like, pick that up. You know, while we're making our way through this. Oh, by the way, for us to consider the Nuzlocke beaten, it's just the Elite Four, right? I know there's a bunch of endgame stuff as well, but, like, I don't have to do that, right? Like, after the Elite Four... That's it? Why well, are you guys gonna make me do the other stuff too? Oh, you better not miss that! There we go. <clears throat> hey, level 41. God, Pokebo has so much defense. No, we... I mean, Rain Dance is actually kind of decent, but... It's not gonna be our thing here. The locked doors only open with a special key. Now, if I was a comedic relief sort of bad guy, I would tell you. But I really don't know. I, are you saying we need to find a comedic relief sort of bad guy? Hey, it's you again. I'm gonna keep, keep making that joke. You can't stop me. Get out of here, stonky. Yeah, stinky stonky. Intruder alert. There's something smelly about you. <laughs> Aren't you guys the ones with the stonkies? <laughs> I'm a little worried about running out of PP. Hope you get some good but it should be okay. Hey, Seth Demon. I did get some good catches, I think. I'm pretty happy with my team, honestly. I think my team is super cool. You, you, you are the stinky one. Don't blame me for this. I have nothing to do with this. I shall take no responsibility. Oh, he, he even says it that it was you. <laughs> okay, we still need the key. Hmm. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, now. Our headquarters is the state-of-the-art facility. Is it? Curlia. Yeah, no, that's also... That's all just, we just keep returning things. X-Defend. Oh, that's actually kind of smart, but I don't even think that's going to be enough. Curlia just doesn't have any defense. <laughs> we get credit anyway. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, those guys are actually kind of scary, but they just die to return, so it's not that big of a deal.
What's this? Dubious disc. Well, that sounds dubious. Sludge bomb. Come fight me. Okay, to get into Master Cyrus's speech. Ooh, where was it now? At the Galactic Waystone building. That too much I'm sure about. Go in through the door besides the reception counter, I think it was. What did I do with that key anyway? Where's it gone? <laughs> hey, we found the Galactic key. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Comedic Relief. Side character. We got everything we need here. We need to go to the headquarters and go through the door to the right side. Like the guy said. <laughs> the comedic relief side character. Big oof. Alright, so we go in here. Or not? No, we don't go in here. Hmm. Hello? So I can... Just walk in. <laughs> I'm glad that nobody's bothered by this. That's very good. Double battle? Very good. I'm always excited about double battles. I just like them. You know, I used to be... I used to be, like, super into singles. Like, I was just like, no. Smogon, oh you, that's, like, how Pokemon is meant to be played. And I've, like, completely changed my opinion on that. Like, honestly, like, double battles is where it's at. VGC is really, really cool. There's, like, so much interesting strategy and so many different things that are viable and, and can be used. Like, as opposed to singles, where it's much more limited and much more straightforward. So yeah, I quite, I quite like doubles. Also, Hachi is just really strong. Never mind, Hachi is not that strong. Come on, buddy! What did I just say? Ah, oh, making me look bad here. All right. Do you want to fight? Ah, you do. Oh no, it's an evil scientist. I'm always scared of these guys. I think I'll swap into Pokipo. And we just, like, toxic it. Oh dear god. Are you serious? That's how much damage that did? We just died to a crit, right? Also, nice, 69 HP. Um, signal beam is a bug type move, right? So if I swap into Hachi, I can resist it? We're just gonna have to tank a little bit. We can survive a crit. Hachi can take a crit. Yeah, that's resisted. You know what? I'm pretty glad... I'm pretty glad that I... I gave my... My Quagsire... The, the toxic. I think at this point a flamethrower should do it. Yeah. No, these Porygon 2s are scary. I mean, like, one of the problems I have is I don't have, like, a fighting type, right? Fighting type would help a lot. 
And if I swap in or like if we start out with Star Raptor, we just get intimidated, making it so we probably can't one shot. And that thing did have Ice Beam, so. Okay, what's up here? Oh, wow. The scattering of the Team Galactic. What is the meaning of it? I don't know. <laughs> Propaganda. <laughs> Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear to you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one. In a word, it is incomplete. It has been and will always be a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete because we are also lacking. We fight. We maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete. I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together, we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together, we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Coronet and those who remain here, though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. Well, pretty good speech. Pretty good speech. That was Cyrus, the boss of Team Galactic. Quite the performance now. Mespo right for one only. Hey, look, that's me. I'm I'm Cyrus. <laughs> well, not quite. I keep thinking I'm 27. I'm not actually 27 yet. <laughs> All right. All right. Goodbye, buddy. Well, we just let them all get away? Green shard. Alright, I'm just really making sure we don't miss the master ball. That's... That's what I want to avoid. The Pokemon statues of Eterna. Pokemon statues. The creation of the Alga, the giver of time. In laughter there is tears and likewise it is with time. The same time flows on for it is the blessing of the Alga. The blue text has been extracted using a high-tech device made by the boss. The birth of Palkia, the creator of parallel dimensions, alive yet not alive. Everything drifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, it is the blessing of Palkia. Ah, okay. I know why there's always beds and then you can't sleep in them. Alright, let's do it, buddies. I am enjoying my tour of your headquarters. To be completely honest, it's kind of nice. Like, <laughs> seems like you're doing a good job accommodating everybody, which is always good to see. All right, uh, we'll probably just like go like this. Right, that should do it. A level 51. I think that officially makes Hachi our highest level Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I'm using Desmumei as my emulator here. Don't ask me where to get a ROM. I can't link you shit, obviously. I think that would be illegal. But I'm just saying that. <laughs> Y'all are fiddling, dude. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> it's not that hard to find. I should maybe be using Return on Hachi a bit more. Like, here's the thing. I really feel like I should put more trust in Hachi. Hachi is actually a very high level and very powerful now. And finally. Oh, no. This looks, this looks an awful lot like, like we're about to, like, do a big fight. So I'm going to put Mila in the front. Use the galactic key. Alright. So you've come. You've heard my speech, I take it. A big lie, of course. It's true insofar as my intention is to create a new world. But that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world solely for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know what? I like that literally everybody in this game is just like, these galactic dudes have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Even their boss is like, they don't know what the hell they're doing. You're a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? It's illogical and irrational. Alright, let's do it. He looks a lot older. Okay, this is fine. Because we can't just Dragon Dance here? With the Intimidate? Oh, you're dead. You're dead, buddy. It's already over. Oh, Screech is annoying. Double is probably enough. I'm guessing two Dragon Dancers will do it. Yeah, perfect. Crobat is sick because we get a super effective move there. Yeah, Ground Ice coverage is pretty good. It would be really nice to have water in there too, but that's okay. I mean, we do have water. The only pro- <laughs> My last Pokemon. Well, yeah. Uh, rest in peace, buddy. Sorry, Mila is just way too strong. <laughs> well, that wasn't even that difficult, my friend. I doubt you will ever understand my position. Yeah, because you're a maniac. Oh, thanks for the Master Ball, I guess. Why did he give me this? But it is not anything that I require. Okay. Make the power of Pokemon my own. Alright, um... So do I want to save them, or do I want to, like, go chase them down? Alright, I'm gonna, like, go here first. Wait, did he... Is he fucking with me? Hey, also Croft, thanks for the 43 months. Or did he say we need to use this one? Alright. A full restore. I feel awful about what we did. This experiment went too far. Did it. Damn. I feel too sickened to say anything. But that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? Hey, oh no. Are you okay? Yuxi is sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with ice squeezed shut. Oh no. Well, that's kind of rough. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon, though it's nothing new. I can't say I understand our boss. Why would you let a kid like you come and go freely? You guys are just 
horribly mismanaged, I have to say. <laughs> just like all around, just a disaster. <clears throat> oh, I'll just dragon dance twice and then sweep. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Do I have something to cure that? There we go. Cures confusion. Good, good, good. Alright, we have our two dragon dancers up. I mean, we could go for a third, but we probably don't need it. Hey, Pokipo! I just really like my Pokipo. Pokipo's just kind of a cool guy, you know? Yeah, it does nothing. Alright. And Toxic Krog. Yeah, I mean, Toxic Krog is actually a pretty strong Pokemon, but... <laughs> Earthquake, you know? Makes it hard to really do anything. Oh, nearly level 51 here. Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Alright. I have freed my friends! Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the free Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. It's also apparently needed for creating something. And that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. Okay. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. I have to say. Alright, let's get out of here. So we need to get to the top of Mount Cor Coronet then. How do we get there? To the left of this. Alright, let's go then. I haven't really been using the bike. I don't know. Because we've been playing for a while here and... Uh... Oh, we can rock climb now. It's true, we have access to a bunch of stuff now because of rock climb. Oh, you have a graveler. Fuck you! I hate this thing. <laughs> This is the worst boy. Get out of here. Give me, don't give me that stupid smirk. God damn. I hate Graveler so much. Chat, push one if you hate Graveler. The worst Pokemon. By far. That all this just a guy. Just looks so strange to me. And we can use Surf here now. That probably gives us access to a bunch of new stuff. Like, I totally get what they were trying to do with all of the HMs again. I think that's actually really cool. Like, you just... It really reminds me a bit of like a Metroidvania. But honestly, in a pretty good way. I, I appreciate it for what it is. However, I, I do think they probably went a little overboard. Alright, Max Repel. But it does really kind of give you this feeling. Look at everything I've gathered. 
Yeah, if there was just a solution to this that made it so you didn't have to, like, actually have them as moves on Pokemon. Bronze Song. Oh, well, I wish. I wish. Uh, do I kill it? I guess I should. It's probably worth a good amount of experience. It's level 37. Let's go Pikachu. Ask them all on Pikachu for free. Right? Like, I don't really see why you couldn't do that. You just... You know, you acquire the HM, and then you just have it. Right? It doesn't have to be a move your Pokemon learns. But then, of course, you kind of lose the magic a bit of it being a thing that your Pokemon learns. Which is actually a little cool. Like, I fully understand everything that they are going for, I think. And I think it did kind of work, but I also see why some people might not appreciate it, you know? Rock Slide. Oh, that's a good one. I wonder who I should put that on. Ultra Moon has that thing where you call the Pokemon you need and you unlock those as you progress. Yeah, I... I I get why that's a thing, right? Where instead of like it being like a party member, it's just you call in a Pokemon that does that does the thing for you. And I fully understand kind of like why you would want to do it that way as well, because it fixes a lot of the problems you have with like wanting to teach HMs to all of your Pokemon, right? And that's like it fixes those issues, yes. But something that it also takes away is, you know, it's I, I think it's kind of cute that my Gyarados is the one using Surf. And I think it's kind of cute that my Bibarel is using rock climb and that my you know that my star raptor is the one using fly and it's not like some random thing it's my thing right and that's like one of those things where it's just like you kind of have to trade off a little bit hey draku 45 thanks for the 47 months all right hello let's do it buddy <laughs> Stunky. <laughs> Why is everything you guys have just stunkies? Kind of wild, isn't it? Okay. Also, I'm Loran going looking pretty solid now. Yeah, we're looking strong, I think. Stall piece. I feel like we're nearing the end here. We might be able to finish this today. Alright, fight me, friend. Fight me. Murkrow. <laughs> you guys gotta get some different Pokemon. I mean, where are you even getting all of these from? I think HMs would be fine if they didn't suck so much. If they made the moves actually useful, it wouldn't feel so terrible to handicap your party. Yeah, but then you have a different problem, right? If you make the HMs good, then you end up kind of in a situation like we have with Surf, where you just teach all of your water Pokemon Surf, right? And now if you have a bunch of TMs that are each good, and then eventually you might end up in a situation where you give everybody Surf, or, like, everybody only HMs. And all of a sudden, your entire team just has the same moves. And then you can't, you know, like, none of the new moves that your Pokemon would naturally learn matter anymore. Right, that could be a problem. Now you now you might say, well, just make it so you can, like, reteach t uh, HMs. Okay, sure, but then, you know, you can just kind of, like, swap stuff around constantly. Then you might just need a Bibarel with only one moose slot, which you then constantly reteach which TM, which would just be really annoying to do. Like, the problem there isn't that it would break anything. The problem there is that it's an optimal strategy that isn't fun, and people would still do it. Because that's how people are. People will do something optimal, something that is better for what they're trying to do, um, even if it isn't fun, and then they will complain that the game isn't fun. <laughs> so, like, you, you can see here 
that each of these different solutions, they each have their own problems. That's really all I'm trying to say here. I'm not saying that any one of them is bad or good. I'm just trying to point out that there's a bunch of solutions. Some feel really obvious, some feel a little less obvious, but really all of them kind of come with their own problems and there's like nothing really that addresses everything. You're just going to have to make a bit of a sacrifice. Which thing is more important? Is convenience more important? Is Pokemon customization more important? Is your team mattering more important? Like, you're gonna just have to pick something. I hope that makes sense. And honestly, like when you're designing a game, from my experience, that's how it goes. Like oftentimes you find yourself in a position where you just kind of have to pick and choose between a bunch of options. And you're like, I want all of them, but some of them are just contradictory. You just can't have each of them. So you just have to pick which is the most important to you. Because I could really use something against that electric gym. And a dragon type would be good. I just see that as uh, kind of reclaiming the karma from that stupid... Oops, sorry. Uh, hiccup uh, interrupted my being upset. No, I want to just reclaim the karma from that stupid crit. I'm still mad. I'm still mad. Chat, yeah, push one if you're still mad. What if they made HM speed moves that apply to a wider variety of regular moves? Like if a Pokemon knew Muddy Water or some such, it could still serve. That, I think, would be a great idea. You know what? Instead of rock climb being a specific thing, it would be like a list. You know, you have like two rock climb, you'll need one of these specific moves. The problem there, right? Like what that does is it keeps your Pokemon important, makes it so they still matter. You get move variety. It, it solves a lot of the problems, but it then also still makes it so you can't keep things locked behind uh, like gates as much as you currently can, right? Because what you currently kind of try to do is you lock certain points of the game, certain parts of the progression behind the gates of, ah, you need to have this HM and this HM before you can go there. And that's something we wouldn't really be possible anymore, at least not as easily. And the second thing that you would be giving up is clarity. It wouldn't be as obvious anymore what move does what, what is used for which purpose, right? And uh, in particular, this would be a problem for children. And I know kind of like making the argument that, ah, it's a children's card game. It's something you hear people often say about like Hearthstone, for example. Right, but Hearthstone isn't really a children's card game. I don't believe that Hearthstone's main demographic is children. Pokemon, however, Pokemon is probably an actual children's game. That's probably its actual main demographic. Right? And so giving up clarity for something that is an actual children's game, well, that's... you're gonna need a really big payoff to make that worth it, in my opinion. Right, there gotta be something that is worth a lot to really justify that. Oh, here, here we continue. Mount Coronet. And that's just kind of a problem, right? Like, that would just exist. And, uh, I mean, like, right now, it's really clear, right? You just have this one move, just rock climb and just surf and whatnot. And, yeah. Again, I'm not trying to say that your solution wouldn't work, right? Obviously, the Pokemon team thought that there was something wrong with the way they handle it right now as well, and they decided to do something about it, which is why, starting from Gen 7 forward, it works differently. But I do also just kind of want to make the point here that it's just not obvious what you should do, right? Again, it's one of those situations where there's a bunch of answers, all of them come with upsides and downsides, and you basically just have to pick one based on what is the most important for you. 
And to be honest, the solution we were just talking about with the, you know, like, maybe you can use Earthquake instead of Rock Smash, right? Maybe Earthquake works for Rock Smash and uh, what about Rock Throw works for Rock Smash and um, what's it called? Uh, Rock Slide works for, what if all of those work for Rock Smash? I think that would be a great solution if the game was made for adults, right? If Pokemon was more of a series where the target audience is, you know, teenagers and adults, then I think that would be a brilliant solution. Absolutely. Like, I think it's actually really clever. But children, right? And that's just, ah, it's annoying, but yeah. Because just, that's just kind of the designer's issue is always, you know, like, I have all of these cool ideas, but people! <laughs> Can people be trusted to figure any of this out? Oh, probably not. Damn, 128 defense. 23 defense. Only 68 special defense, though. Yeah, that comes from grinding in that 1k of the entire time. Maybe not the best idea. Hmm. <clears throat> it does feel like we are reaching the end of the the mountain here. User friendly should mean the users are to be friendly with the developers. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I think we have reached the top of something here. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down in an epic duel. Du -du -du duel. All right, buddy, let's do it. Mila and Hachi. Ooh, this is actually not great. I actually need to swap Hachi out. Yep, we gotta get Hachi out of here. Because the poor buddy does not appreciate standing next to Miller. It's just the big AoE moves are a bit scary, aren't they? In case you aren't, like, sure why this is a problem. But um, Miller has Earthquake and Surf, which are amazing moves for doubles because they hit everybody, right, except for the user. But they hit all Pokemon, which is great, right? You hit all of your opponents. Problem is you also hit your allies. <laughs> so we can do that while we have Coco swapped in because Coco is a flying type. So Coco doesn't get affected by Earthquake. Um, but we can't really do that while we have... Well, we have Hachi swapped in because Hachi is a fire type and would just get killed. <laughs> like, so we want to try and avoid that if at all possible. Very good. Okay. Alright. I assume this is gonna be the final fight with the big boss. Oh, we're doing a double here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one, buddy. You have a Munchlax. I'm just gonna Dragon Dance once. I 
Oh, reflect is annoying. Oh, and light screen. Oh, that's not good. Okay, everybody's boosting defensively, except for except for Miller, who is boosting offensively. Hmm. That's okay. We can take those hits. Always remember that Gyarados actually has very good special defense. You can see it. That was a crit. Double crit. Wow. So I'm going to keep boosting right now. <clears throat> because they have uh, reflect and light screen up. So I'm going to just kind of take my time a little bit. We're going to use a super potion. We're going to use uh, milk. Make sure Miller is full HP, and then we start spamming Surf here. Well, ideally we would like to use Earthquake instead, but oh well. Those guys are levitating. Uh, actually, really good that Munchlocks is using Stockpile because that increases special defense, right? Yes. So Munchlocks can probably actually take the Surf decently well. Yeah, you're fine, buddy. You are good. Oh, that crit. Kind of stinky. Alright, Munchlocks. Okay. We're gonna slam a surf here. We're gonna hope that that just takes him down. Probably not, yeah. Munchlocks should survive too. No! Okay. I'm just gonna serve again. As long as they just don't put up ref Reflect, I think we're good. Because those guys are levitating and, like, resistant to ice. That's the only reason why we can't use any physical moves. Against this stuff, we can start slamming physical stuff. Um, no, that's kind of unfortunate. Which one is scarier? Probably the gold bad, right? Let's get rid of the gold bad first. Because I can kill the poor ugly with an earthquake split hit. So we don't need to worry so much about it. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Sorry, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Heracross, actually pretty good switch in here because Heracross resists Earthquake. <laughs> and, and you gotta need to resist it to survive it. I don't know. I don't know if this Heracross can survive this Earthquake even with the resistance. Oh, nice. Good job, buddy. Yeah, is it four times resisted even? No, I think it's only, I, I think it's only a normal resistance. Is Levitate one of the two abilities for Bronzo? Yeah, Bronzo has Levitate. I don't think it's guaranteed, but it's just, you know, pretty high likelihood of, of of that being a thing, and that's kind of annoying, and, you know, you know how it goes. Alright, Miller cleared it out clean. My Pokemon are tough, right? I can't get even tougher, but you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. I'll help you with this. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> why did he leave? <laughs> he just fucks off. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon, the master of time, and the other. Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. Wow. Oh, them big boys. I've waited so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia. 
Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I'm resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. <laughs> this guy is not... This guy is bad news, honestly. I... Wow, this guy... Bit of a maniac. Oh, is that one of our buddies? Huh? Buddies! Oh, they're coming in to help! Oh my god, what a bunch of homies. Yuxi, the being of knowledge. Aself, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three leg Pokemon and symbolize spirit to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both the Alga and Palkia are here. They're coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Bami, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will be there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away from you, from your Pokemon, from those precious to you. Wow, this guy is violent. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Ooh. Ooh, bad news. Oh, <laughs> interesting. So there's a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. <laughs> interesting might not be the right word, buddy. <laughs> the effort is rash and foolish. I've harnessed the powers of the Alga and Palkia. Clap him! What? Did it just kill him? Oh, holy shit! What is happening? This is some wild stuff, I have to say. This is fucking wild. I'm sorry it took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Yaga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never to be spoken, Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not close, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? Uh, sure. I see nothing that can go wrong with that. Holy shit! There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. That's fine, Giratina. We needed to stop the spreading distortion at the spear pillar. That was Giratina. We have to hurry. Something's not done. The distortion will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. Hot damn. This became much darker than I expected. Ah, okay, I I can. Will we get to see if Giratina? Will we get will we get to see Giratina if we keep going down? In the distortion world, are we really traveling downward? Oh wow, okay. I can jump now. This is a very different section. Holy shit! This is actually fucking sick. Let's go. Okay then. We can go here. Oh, hello. The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten, but to a few. The legend told of a world on the other side of ours, this world. Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained, but we have things to do. Let's split up. We have to find the right way. Uh, I don't know. Splitting up is the best idea. Okay, the controls are a bit quirky. But, I mean, I'll forgive it. Because I, I really like this. This is really cool. Because it's just so different from what I expected, really. Okay. I don't really know where I'm going, but... Uh, 
Okay. Just kind of going places, I suppose. Ah, oh, that brings us down here. Alright, nothing really makes a lot of sense in terms of, like... <laughs> the, the spatial understanding of things here, but I guess that's kind of the point. The shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? This guy is... Bizarre. Nope. Alright, I'm just kind of figuring stuff out. Seeing where we can even go. Push him down so he shuts up. Yeah, somebody should definitely yeet that guy, right? <gasps> hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! No, come back! Oh, well, there goes that buddy. Oh, did I just throw that down there? I hope it hits Cyrus. <laughs> Dude, at this point, it wouldn't even surprise me if we can't just fucking kill him. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm down for it. Okay, we have a stone here now. Can I get to you? No, you're just chilling there. Okay. Oh, hello. This place. It seems to be a giant puzzle. Maybe Giratina wants to test those that visit here? It appears as if we can't go on unless we solve the puzzle. There were some borders that could be moved, and there are several odd pits on the floor. The Pokemon of the lake seem eager to show us something. Okay. Well, I can't move this boulder very much. I get the feeling that we're missing some. Yes! Ah ha ha. Alright, let's get ourselves some more boulders. Right, this is further up. Okay, we go further up. And now I think our main goal is gonna be just try to go to the right somehow. Right, just try to go to the right. How far can we go to the right? What can we do there? It's gonna be the main question here. Oh, here's this nerd. Well, that's probably right. We definitely want to chase that guy down, I will guess. Ooh! Spooky. Whoo! Alright. <laughs> We're serving upside down now. Oh, shit. I hope we don't need waterfall. Oh, wait. No, I can. It's just in a very specific spot, I suppose. <laughs> oh, this is just bizarre. Alright, we got it. Hey, Azel. Yes, I would like to use strength. Thank you. Alright, now we have all of these. Um... Okay. You want me to put that in this one? There you go, buddy. I got us. And this one goes all the way in the back. Okay.
Wait, they just left? <laughs> All right. I guess not. Oh. So you were already here. If you hate our world, you, you should go off somewhere else. Wait, look, I understand that the guy is a maniac, right? But Cynthia, where exactly is he supposed to go? <laughs> like, <laughs> is he? Like, I feel like you're implying something, and I'm not sure that this is. This is exactly the good a good implication for a children's video games, Cynthia. Willow Wisp is fine. We'll just heal it. I'll probably dragon dance twice and then use like a full heal. No! No! No, 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 no! Oh we're good. Oh dear fucking god. Well, we can take it. We have two dragon dancers. We can we can even take a crit. Right? I think we full restore and then we earthquake it. Just don't crit me. Alright. Good. Good. There's no way it's a wise and earthquake. We are plus two. Oh, dear God. Oh, man, that was so scary. But Hound Doom is just kind of shit. Well, that's annoying. I get the feeling that this might have something I don't like. What is it likely to use? Does Gyarados learn Thunderfang? Probably. No, I guess it can't. Okay, so if I stay in, it's like, what is it gonna do? It's gonna probably rock slide me. I would guess. I just... The problem is I don't have a good way to hurt it. Like, there's no way it's gonna earthquake me. So we only need to worry about Waterfall, Ice Fang, or Giga Impact. It's not gonna Waterfall because that's also resisted. So it's gonna choose between Ice Fang and Giga Impact. It's almost certainly going to use Giga Impact. Can Shadow even lethal or 6 level below? Shadow can easily lethal. Shadow got Thunderbolt. Like it's not even close. Like Shadow will one shot the Gyarados without a question. Like without a doubt. I think if I heal I can take a Giga Impact. And then we can just heal and attack. We can chip away at this. It can... We can take a Giga Impact. I was gonna use Ice Fang. Okay. We use Ice Fang right back. Heal up. So it's just spamming Ice Fang. I'm just gonna... Maybe we should use an X Defend. I mean, the scariest thing that can happen is a Giga Impact crit. But it's not even using Giga Impact. 
So we can just Dragon Dance until we're at plus six. And we just like Super Potion, Dragon Dance, Super Potion, Dragon Dance and so on. We need to use seven Dragon Dancers to be at plus six attack, by the way. Okay. 10% chance to get iced. But I'm smart. I have defrosting. <laughs> Because I always buy, I always buy every single one of the he healing items. We can actually just heal off a freeze, not even a problem. Um, one more dragon dance. Now we had maximum attack and speed. We only need to take one more hit. And then we start spamming, and then we start sweeping. sweeping. At plus six, so in case you're not familiar with this, but plus six means we have a four times our normal attack. And you guys know how strong Mila is. Right, so like we basically double crit everything now. Imagine we have a super effective multiplier and the critical strike on every single attack we use. And then, of course, if it's super effective, that's on top of that. Mila is probably nearing a thousand attack right now. Well, probably not that much, but like getting there. Earthquake. You know, when I played Pokemon as a kid, I never used moves that weren't attacking. I'm learning a lot right now. Yeah, no, I definitely did the same thing when I was a kid. But like the stat boosting moves. It kind of like, it comes down a little bit to, to which one, but specifically the ones that boost two things. So either one stat by two stages, like Sword Stance, which gives you plus two attack, or something like Dragon Dance, which gives you plus one speed and attack. Those are actually very powerful moves. They're actually very good. Right, because like, let's say I if I have three turns to attack with, Right? It's better to actually use Sword Stance and attack twice. Because then I'm dealing de effectively dealing the damage of four attacks because Sword Stance doubles my attack damage. Alright, we got it. Oh, Miller. Miller's such a champ. Just straight up tanking the Thunder Fang. Where are you going? Okay. Like, <laughs> I don't even mean that in like a, like, where are you going, dude? I mean that in like a, where are you going? Like, oh, where can you go? <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Let's do it, buddy. I mean, I dig the presentation. Giratina is quite the eyeing balmy. Fight me, nerd. I'm just gonna master ball it. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> I'm just gonna master ball it. <laughs> right? We're not, we're not gonna fuck around, chat. Alright then, everybody. Welcome, the newest friend to our party. Hey! Giratina! We have a new friend. Yes, I would like to give it. No! <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I had my hand on the wrong button. It's fine, we can just rename it. There's a name room. There's a renaming guy. Don't worry, we can we can rename it. We're gonna give it a name. Go pickle. All right. Don't argue with this guy. I really don't like that Cynthia is arguing with this guy and like exchanging philosophy. This guy's philosophy is I should kill everybody because I don't like them. No, this is not a valid case he's making. You don't have to argue with this guy. <laughs> oh, man. At least I have my pickle. Sorry, I legit just had my hand slightly misplaced. And I just accidentally clicked B instead of A. But yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna rename Giratina. Don't worry about it. We'll give it a name. I will leap into the portal. <clears throat> this place... And Giratina was said to live in a world on the opposite side of ours. Okay. You really could have dealt with this yourself. I don't know why you needed me for this. Frankly speaking, I shouldn't have had to do anything. I am a child. This is quite offensive. Alright, let's get out of here. And that concludes episode 8 of the Pokemon Platinum Petlock. In the next episode... Did we save the world? What happened to Cyrus? Seriously, I'm a little confused. I feel like I don't quite understand the story. And will we be able to give our Giratina a proper name? That and more on the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Petlock.